This is my funny little backwards airplane as we call it and it's the Rutan Long Easy. Uh, we've called it the backwards airplane because well the tail's kind of in the front and the engine's in the back and it just kind of looks like a backwards airplane to most people. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. So I'm the only one that's flying a Long Easy in air shows in the world right now I believe it's not really designed to be an aerobatic airplane, but I always say that anything will do a loop and a roll when you try hard enough, and, and uh, I try really hard. Uh, but really, we're limited to just a loop and a roll. This is, it, it's not like an extra or an edge where it's designed to do aerobatics. Uh, a loop and a roll is all we can do. Uh, and then we just get really creative with the angles and really try to show the profile of the aircraft. So the way I have to get started in my aircraft is I just pick the aircraft up and I extend the nose gear and then I have to hold the nose down because with the engine behind the main gear, when it's sitting level with the, with the nose gear extended, it'll actually flip over backwards. So that's why we park it on the nose. And once the pilot is in the nose, it's not going anywhere. And then to get out, it's the reverse reverse process. We went to Artcraft two years ago and we wanted to come up with a new paint scheme, but it's an air show plane. So we wanted it to be flashy. I wanted it to be something that really catches people's eye. I mean, it's a long easy, it catches people's eye as is, but I wanted a non-symmetrical paint job where like it's, it's heavy on the purple on this side and a little, uh, little more yellow on the other side. The airplane was yellow before, it was a really pale yellow, uh, but on a blue sky, the yellow just pops so good in a blue sky. So it really sticks out. When you're flying this airplane, you're wearing it. It's, it's very snug, super responsive on the controls. Like it flies really, really nice. You're sitting in a lazy boy though. Like you're really reclined. It's a side stick. So it's a very natural uh, sitting position. It's a lot of fun to fly. A uh, little different, but uh, this thing's a blast. This is the pyro system that we have right now. And right now, as it sits, it is shunted, it's safety. This cannot go off uh, sitting in the hangar unless there is an actual fire underneath the aircraft, in which case we have other problems. Uh, but the way it works is uh, we've got these gerbs here is what they're called. Uh, they're pyrotechnic. They're the ones that shoot out like the fountain. Uh, and the gerbs light off the Roman candles. Roman candles are in here to add a little bit of flavor to it. Uh, the majority of it shoots out the back. We've got two shots during the routine where we're shooting uh, their 50 millimeter shells is what they're called. They're the ones that leave the plane and then they make a nice pretty little explosion in the air. Um, and the, the way it all works is that it's all wired up with what's called E-matches. Uh, come into this board where it's shunted. I taxi out to the end of the runway and then on the end of the runway, I plug in the plane so I have control of it. So once I'm in the aircraft, on the end of the runway, I get out, I plug in the pyro, uh, the racks that are on the wing, uh, and then after I, I start up and I take off and I'm in the air, I've got an arm switch that's between my legs right here, and then I've got 10 position selector here, uh, so I can pick the stations, one through 10, go in order, and then uh, right thumb is the fire. But one of the things we did about with our night show is we decided to go with the theatrical night show. So during air shows, there, there's a few theatrical acts out there, but it, it's a little difficult for the crowd to really get the storyline during the day show because there's so much going on. There's static displays, there's all the vendors, there's kids areas set up. And with a night show though, there's nothing going on except for the night show. So you've got a, a captive audience. They've got no reason to do anything except for watch the show. So we decided to go with a theatrical night show. We've been informed that a UFO with a very special radar signature is approaching. The way it starts, like if you've never seen it before, uh, Kyle is coming in high, either show left or show right. Spaceship's working because we just got here. The pyro's on, the lights are on, the music starts, and we come down and we try to time it so when we hit show center, that's when the spaceship starts to malfunction and Hank comes up. Well, I told you Earth's atmosphere was too much for the ship to handle, but did you listen? No. And we go on this big thing of what are we gonna do, Hank? We gotta save us. But did you listen to me? No, you ignored me as usual. And now we're doomed because you can't listen. We're not doomed. I'm lighting off pyro in the plane while we're doing this and 
Some of the bigger pyro are parts falling off the aircraft. We ultimately come up with the idea, let's reboot the computer, and we reharmonize the computer sonic drive to capture the sound waves, and essentially we get the crowd to cheer. People of Earth, the only thing that can save us now is if you all join together and make as much noise as you can, okay? Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Systems are coming online. Spaceship reboots and everything comes back online. We get the crowd to cheer one more time and that lights the rockets and then it's a celebration where we just keep firing uh, pyro for the rest of the show and until it's time to go home and search for another party. My job as an airshow performer is to be an ambassador for aviation and I absolutely love it. A lot of people's first introduction to aviation is at an air show. And so a lot of people will come up, they don't know a lot about aviation, they don't know all the different avenues to, to get into it. And, and my job is, is to inspire people. And, and that's what I try to do at a show when I'm talking to the kids and signing autographs and giving out stickers and all that stuff. Uh, they get to come up to me and they get to share what they thought of the show or or what they want to do with their career in aviation. And, and I just love the fact that I get the opportunity to, to help uh, promote aviation.